If he's got a bad chin, he certainly didn't show it just then. Well, he was playing possum. In fact, a grin on his face. He tried to sucker Watson in. But he got hit some hard shots, and he's still getting hit hard shots. Remember, Watson can punch. Michael Watson comes in at 21-1-1, 17 by knockout. Good right hand by Watson. You're now seeing an exhibition of a good boxer just trying to outbox and outpunch a puncher. Now he's got them going back. And this is the inexperience of Ben that is caught up. Combination by Watson. He's still trying to suffer him in. And Watson lands the right hand out of the peekable style. Watson is just powdering Nigel Ben. Ben doesn't seem to care. He just comes in, tries to sucker in Watson, and then goes to work. In doing so, he's taking a fearful shellacking. I don't know if he'll be able to go 12 at this pace. They just exchanged hard touches. The jab starting to come back into effect as Watson is using it to keep off Michael Ben and to keep off balance. It's hard to keep a punching machine off balance, so this guy is just coming in from all angles. And the crowd chanting, Nigel, Nigel. Those are the guys that bet the other way. Well, we were told that Michael Watson could take a punch, and we have certainly seen that. Look at that peekaboo. Look at that rope and dope leaning back on the ropes. Watson got caught. What a round. Final seconds, fourth round. He's bent going back, playing possum. But look at the punches he takes while he's playing possum. Right connects, now he comes back. It's, it's a question of trying to repeat what he had done with Logan, where he acted like he was hurt and then came back and knocked him out. It didn't work for what? And we are on to round number five. Nigel Ben has gone past four rounds only one time. Won seven against Reggie Miller in a victory. But Watson has gone past the fourth round on nine occasions. And now will Mickey Duff in his corner turn him loose and say, okay, you start working. Because I think Watson has worked as hard as he can work over those first four rounds just to survive. This is for the British Commonwealth Middleweight Championship. The Great Britain does have a strong tradition of middleweight. World champions such as Randy Turpin, Terry Downs, Alan Minter. This is also the richest ever British middleweight fight. That will get $230,000 and Watson $155,000. Alan Minter is sitting right next to us and he knows and said, don't forget, Watson can punch this guy's lights out. So here we go. <laughs> In the fifth round, again playing possum is Nigel Ben. Taking an awful lot of shots to play possum. That's a turning the fight in the third round and able to score with combinations. Watson on the bases. Our superior boxing is starting to wear out. The hyperactive Nigel Ben, although Ben is ahead in this fight unofficially on my scorecard. 37 to 39. Uppercut by Ben. Start of that flurry. But look at Watson. As soon as he starts to flurry, up come the glove. Look. He just can't get through. This has got to be frustrating for Nigel Ben. What looks like from the crowd that he's punching wildly, he's hitting gloves. And getting hit right on the face. His gloves, in the meantime, are not up. Look at Watson. As soon as he starts, Ben starts an attack, up come the gloves. Look. And if he doesn't watch out and doesn't punch, then Watson starts to punch. Watson's fighting a very intelligent boxing fight. 
And again, the combination from Watson. And it's set Ben backward. Tough to tell whether he's uh, playing possum again. Yes, he was. Same act. One of these days, he's going to cry wolf. And he's going to wake up to listen to the guy count ten. Oh, what a shot. But again, glancing off the, the uh, gloves of Watson. Watson just automatic to putting up those gloves. Is he well trained? Look at this. Up from the gloves. And we're coming to the end of the fifth round. Back and off the gloves of Watson. That's what happened all last round. I gave that round to Watson, and it's getting close, 48 to 47. But the man that's inflicting the damage is Watson. And it is on to round six. Michael Watson has gotten away from his old habits of straight-ahead pressure behind that predictable left jab. Now using more combinations to the head and body. And all with an uppercut and, and a hook. And it's certainly paying dividends here against Nigel Van. Mickey Duff has to be happy about what he has seen to this point. He said if Watson can survive until the middle rounds, that Watson then would stop Ben in the later round. Well, we'll see. Right now, for openers, Nigel Ben's face is beginning to show the wear of all those solid shots. He's swelling up. There are no lumps or marks on Watson, which is amazing considering the speed and the strength of the punches that Ben has been throwing. It just looks as if Ben doesn't know how to throw it. Oh, he got thumb. He got thumb. He got thumb. And the referee's John Coyle is the sole arbiter to his hands, and he says keep boxing. Now he's got trouble, and that's the problem with the thumbless gloves. Oh, but here's Ben right back. He's trying to buy time so his eyes will clear up, and the only way he can do it is to fight.